Welcome back to Heartfelt Beer Reviews. My name is Kyle Hart, back with you for another beer review. This is Central Waters Rye Barrel Age Stout. So this is the 2019 vintage. So this beer, I can't exactly remember when I got it. I believe it's nearly a year old at this point, around the midsummer, if I'm correct. This comes in at 11.6% alcohol by volume. And I'm gonna read you the description here on the bottle. It says, our imperial stout aged in rye whiskey barrels is our work workhorse of a bourbon barrel stout that oozes smooth layers of chocolate and entwines with sharp notes of rye that are rounded out with ample aging in American oak. Please enjoy now or let cellar for years to come. You know, it doesn't give you an alcohol percentage on the bottle, which I've always hated. I don't understand why brewers don't do that. There's absolutely no reason that they shouldn't do that or can't do that, other than, I think, out of laziness. Um, but that's not really the biggest issue. Uh, I can look past that. It really depends what's in the bottle. Now, I have had this before, but it, again, it's been a year, so I don't remember it all too well. I have let this sit out for about 12 minutes to allow it to warm up. Uh, you know, when these big imperial stouts uh, that are barrel aged, whether it be rye or, or bourbon or what have you, there you really can't tell the depth of that the flavor can present, especially those barrel notes if it's too cold. So I wanted to make sure that it warmed up a little bit. You know, you don't want it to be room temperature. You definitely don't want it to be warm. Just enough that I can really get that nice flavor profile for you and give you the best description that I can. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open the bottle. Give you a nice hard pour, see if I can get any head retention on that for the 11.5%. And then I'll describe to you the appearance, the aroma, and the flavor profile of this beer. Cheers. Has been a while since I've had a nice good beer. Definitely been longer since I've had a beer review. Been away for a while, but hopefully that just means it's going to be extra special for everybody watching. Right off the bat, big, big, big chocolate. Now, they just recently, about, I'd say, two months or less, they just brewed a rye barrel aged chocolate porter. Now, I do have that one as well. I'll most likely review that as well in, in the future. Uh, but this is their Imperial Stout. I prefer stouts. I believe porters are, are a tad thin to my liking uh, most of the time. Uh, not always. But Central Waters, uh, they are out of Wisconsin. They do do a fantastic barrel aged um, series of beer. They just released one called Call Me Old Fashioned, and it's a uh, it's actually a old fashioned inspired imperial style aged in bourbon barrels, which it sounds very good, which I have not picked up yet, unfortunately. I have a whole uh, fridge full of beer that I really need to get through, and I just it's hard to justify continuing to buy new beer as much as I really want to. Uh, but let's give you a pour and see how it goes. Now, in my experience, these beers tend to be a tad thin, uh, which I don't like. I really think the mouthfeel plays a very important role in a stout, especially. Uh, but as you can tell from that pour, you get about a finger, maybe a finger and a half of a nice khaki tan mocha head. Uh, very, very uh, nice bubble retention. And this is exceptionally opaque. Uh, now, granted, I don't have a light on in here, but uh, there's enough natural light coming in from the window that there's really, you can't get anything out of this. This even almost has a uh, subtle brownish red hue to it. It's not uh, the darkest that I've seen in Imperial Stout, which again, that doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, I'm just really hoping this is not thin, and I hope that the rye barrel is, is not too subtle, because it's a nice variation from getting, instead of just the bourbon, to the rye. Uh, so let's go ahead and give me the aroma. Cheers. Whoa. Well, that rye barrel is not subtle by any means. Big, big rye grain. Especially the grain, the graininess. Caramel. It's almost earthy and smoky even. You get almost a, a clovey cinnamon. Uh, now, what you get with, you know, when I mean, you go, if you think about it from a spirits perspective, bourbon gives you, you know, I wouldn't say generic, but your standard, your vanillas, your caramels, 
Sometimes you get your cinnamons, you get your big oaks, sometimes your chocolates. But with rye, rye penetrates a oak barrel better than just corn can. So what that really allows for is uh, more depth, more flavor personality, if you will. And instead of just the caramels and the vanillas and the oaks, you get the cinnamons, you can get the cloves, you can get the maples, you can get the butterscotches and things like that. More depth to them, which I do enjoy. Nice, nice roasted malt characteristic. It's not too roasty. You know, some stouts are super roasty, almost burnt in your face. But you're getting a nice caramel chocolate fudge. And that rye is prominent, even after the spirits have been in my fridge for almost a year. It's up there. I'm just hoping that it's not too cold for me to be able to pick up the, uh, the characteristics of the flavor. I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Cheers. Ooh, that is hot. For only 11.5%. That's quite surprising. Uh, I don't remember it being this, this boozy. Um... I don't know if I've let it set too long and the flavor profile have kind of mellowed out to the point that I'm just getting a lot of that rye barrel. But that rye is nice and spicy and warm. You know, it's not too aggressive. It's still lingering. As I'm speaking, I still taste that nice, you know, dry rye spice. It picks up far more of that oak and that uh, vanilla, caramel, chocolate note. The only thing I'm really picking up that is not really... Uh, that I'm not a fan of is it's kind of astringent. Um, it's kind of got a, a weird acetone kind of finish to it that lingers, that it is not my favorite. Um, you know, I, I can't judge this based on one sip, so I'm gonna go in for more. But um, as of now, I, I'm getting the big, big rye barrel, far more prominent than I expected it to be after a year. Uh, but, you know, with a year's age, those other uh, flavor profiles do kind of mellow out, and the barrel will come through more. Let's find out again. Oh yeah, that has got a big, big rye grain, smoky earthiness to it that you just don't get in a standard bourbon barrel style. And it's because that rye is able to bring out so much more flavor and it's so much more of an aggressive grain than just a corn is. But uh, I am getting, you know, a big depth of chocolate fudge. Uh, it's a sweet caramel, almost like a caramel sauce. I'm getting a subtle amount of vanilla, but it, it's very subtle. And I'm getting a big, big oak. I mean, it's heavy oak, smoke, earthy. Uh, not quite Isla Scotch, you know, that's that's a whole nother level. I have had Imperial Stouts that are aged in uh, Isla Scotch barrels, which are just phenomenal, but they're on a whole nother level. But this this rye is just in your face. I mean, it if you don't like rye whiskey at all, even if you're a bourbon fan, or if you think that it's something that you may or may not like, I would skip this beer because I know that you're not going to like it. Uh, I do enjoy rye whiskey, uh, not quite as much as I enjoy bourbon or scotch, but you know, good rye whiskey. Uh, there's a, a whiskey out uh, by New Rift Distillery out of Newport, Kentucky, uh, that they make a, a rye, and it's actually 100% rye, which is not done very often anymore, and it's phenomenal, about $50 a bottle. Uh, which you get notes of, like I said, the caramels, the butterscotch, the soft vanillas, the big oak chocolate. Uh, but really the only thing with this that I really don't care for, again, is that astringency that's coming through on, on, the, on the rye. And not that it makes it a bad beer, because it doesn't. Uh, it's just something that I'm not too fond of. Uh, what I... You know, first off, I'd say, would I go search for this beer again? I would say no, because you can't find it. I mean, it's one of those, once it, once released, that it's not even an annual release. It's They do it every so many years, and then when they're done doing it, they don't do it for sometimes two to three years. 
Uh, I can't tell you if I prefer this fresh because I can't really remember what it tasted like when I first had it. I do remember it being a little bit better, if I can be honest. Uh, like I said, my mind and my memory is kind of fuzzy on it because it has been uh, nearly a year since I've had it. But uh, for whatever reason, I think I recall having it that it wasn't so astringent. But again, I could be wrong or it could just be the fact that I let it set in my fridge for a year, which is entirely on me. I wanted to see how this aged, uh, if it mellowed out. Uh, it would have been better if I would have remembered what the original one would have tasted like. But uh, it's not bad. You know, overall, I'd probably give this a B plus. You know, it's a, it's a very good beer, but is it a great beer? In my opinion, I would say no, simply because that astringency of the rye and then the thinness of the beer. It's not super thin, like sometimes I believe that Dragon's Milk and uh, Barrel Aged Stouts tend to be quite thin, which I really don't care for. Now, Dragon's Milk uh, by New Holland, they make good beer, and you know their, most of their stuff is fantastic. It's just the, the thin mouth feel and the astringency that I get off them is just not ideal for my uh, particular preference. Uh, but like I said, you're gonna get, you're almost getting a, that's where you get more of an earthy, oak, smoky, uh, up front rye grain than you get like a chocolate or a vanilla. You know, usually in, in Imperial Stouts, you can pick up a, a noticeable amount of chocolate or vanilla or caramel or if they're or coffee, if they're adjuncts uh, brewed with the beer. And this is not adjunct, uh, Layton. This is just their uh, big, oozy, thick, viscous Imperial Stout that's been aged in a rye whiskey barrel as opposed to a bourbon barrel. And I, like I said, it's good. You know, it's something that if you've not had, and if you're really into rye whiskey and imperial stouts, I definitely try to have one. But like I said, if you have, you don't already have one. I really don't see you getting one unless they somehow have them at the brewing company still, which I highly doubt. You'd probably be better off to try to find their uh, chocolate porter that's been finished in rye barrels. Or aged in rye barrels, rather. I said, would I go hunting for this? Probably not. But I, I'd give it a solid B plus or, you know four out of five uh I said that rye you almost taste nothing else which is does that make it a bad thing no not specifically but i would like to have more depth i would like to have more of uh, flavor profile uh from the base beer instead of just the rye barrel. Uh, it's almost as if I'm drinking rye whiskey that had been brewed. I mean, you definitely get the roasted malt from the uh, base stout, but not much else. I mean, if if I'm able to nitpick, if I'm able to really dig deep, you know, maybe since I'm so acclimated to beer and I'm so experienced with, with beer, I've had well over, you know, 15, 1600 beers in the last five to seven years. So I'm, I should say, uh, not an alcoholic anymore. I'm a professional. Um, it's just maybe I can pick up some chocolate, some soft caramels, maybe some vanilla, but nothing that really stands out to tell me, oh, that's big chocolate or that's big vanilla or that's big caramel or, or what have you. Uh, these definitely were adjuncts. These are all flavors that, uh, if I'm picking them up correctly, they were coming naturally from the barrel from aging. Uh, but again, it's pretty good. Not the greatest, a little thin, and uh, far too astringent for uh, my taste. But, again, thank you. Uh, I pardon for the hiatus. Uh, there has been a few weeks to months since my last review. I do hope with this uh, quarantine currently going on that I can't leave the house. I might as well be uh, picking up some more beer reviews in the uh, future. Hopefully one tomorrow even, uh, depending on my mood, really. Uh, but, uh... Thank you very much for tuning in to Heartfelt Beer Reviews. Again, my name is Kyle Hart. This has been a review on Central Waters Rye Barrel Aged Imperial Stout, coming in 11.6% alcohol by volume. Again, find it if you can, if you think you'd like it. If not, it might be one of those lost beers. But have a good day and enjoy the quarantine.